when I expect my husband to do, to be, to say all the things in order to make me happy, to make me feel satisfied in this relationship, then I am being unfair. And here's why. I am taking my power and I am relinquishing it because I am saying that my happiness, that my satisfaction, my whatever is triggered and controlled by what he does or doesn't do based on what I'm saying he should do. And here's the interesting thing. If you're at all like me, you have these, um, rules <laughs> for how he, your spouse or your significant other is supposed to be, and you don't even share them out loud. Hmm, right? Sometimes you have these expectations for somebody and you have not even voiced them. They have not become real so that the other person even knows that this is something you are seeking. Okay, so, but let's just start with the fact that you have them because I have them out the wazoo. <laughs> it is something I am continually working on. It is something, wow, so deeply ingrained in me that that is why I'm having this conversation kind of from this viewpoint because like teaching on this topic, I am teaching you from where I am coming from how I am feeling going through this, because even though I understand the principles of it, it's so ingrained in me that I'm continually having to be coached to work through this so that I can maintain healthier boundaries, relationships, without having this whole big playbook. Because honestly, so I have, look, I have this big book here. This is not my manual for my husband, although it really could be. This is a <laughs> this is a guide for something else that I have printed out on my desk, but I wanted to show you that because honestly, as thick as that is, that's essentially how I could sit down and probably write out all the things, all the expectations for how he should be in this relationship. And it's just a no brainer to me. I mean, come on. <laughs> However, obviously he doesn't want to have to follow a playbook just to live his life and to be in relationship with me. That's not to say that we don't ever openly communicate and have agreements on things that we would do, right? Um, for example, raising children. Hopefully we can come to terms on that, right? And we can set like expectations, healthy expectations that we have audibly voiced and communicated, discussed and come to a working agreement about what we are going to do together as parents to our children, right? That, that makes sense. But when I have unspoken, undiscussed, unagreed to rules, which would be my manual for how he should behave, how he should do certain things. Like, for example, I think one time, and like, maybe he's watching, maybe he's not. But like, I think one time in all the years I have known him, which is two decades, I don't remember him really planning anything for my birthday. Um, one time he went above and beyond. It was fantastic. And that's why it really sticks out in my brain. But like so many times my birthday just kind of goes by and it's like, well, happy birthday. And I'm like, I want so much. <laughs> why don't I just do it? Why don't I just tell him step by step? But I want him to know, especially after all this time, like this is what I want. Like, why can't you just do it? Or the times when we're even picking out restaurants, like we have had total like meltdowns trying to come to terms about picking out a restaurant to eat. He's like, where do you want to go eat? I'm like, wherever. He's like, no, really, where do you want to go out to eat? Because I know this is going to be a thing for you. You're a picky eater. I'm like, well, I don't want to be labeled as a picky eater. And it starts this whole thing. And we end up eating at the same place all the time, right? Like, been there, done that. And I have these expectations for what he should be doing, where he should be in his life, what he should be responding to, how he should show up as a husband, as a father, as a friend, like all the things. 
okay? But notice that each and every time I'm saying this, these are my expectations, my rules, my playbook for how I want him to be as a husband, how I want him to be as a father. But it's his life. Do you see that? It is his life, which we have free will. It is his choice to do or say or be whatever he wants to be. It's my choice to be and say and do whoever I want to be. And so if I want that same freedom for me, why would I not extend that to somebody else? You see how big that is? That gets so huge so quick when you look at it from that perspective that we are human beings with free will. And as soon as we start to try and restrict somebody's free will by making them be or do or say like the things that we want them to do, not even what they want to do, how does that impact the relationship dynamics, okay? If it's at all like how it's been in our marriage, it's me trying to tell him what to do, him not doing it, I get upset, we have this conversation about how he didn't do what I said to do, then it's like, like, ah, it's a big riff, okay? Unpleasant. Who caused that? Well, <laughs> I want to say it was him because he didn't do the things right he didn't listen to me and y'all you know you know I'm right but (laughs) I have to let this go I'm working on letting this go because here I am 19 years into marriage this fall is 21 years I have known the man and I am still doing this to be fair to myself because I need that moment. (laughs) I do it less than I used to, but my manual is still pretty big. And so I'm working on letting this go. And so this is kind of a catharsis for me talking this through. And I'm chuckling not because this is funny, but because this is so real. This is so raw right now in my relationship. We've been having some rifts over different things and it is having a significant impact in where we're going. And I'm like, it has been 19 years of marriage. How am I not better than I am? Like, how do I not understand this more? And to be fair, until I went through coach training, like I honestly didn't know this. I didn't have a description for how to describe what I was expecting. I just thought my what I was wanting from him was fine, was normal. Like this is my job <laughs> to lead, to guide, and I just know better. Like that was just my mindset and that you might have a similar mindset. And so this could be like revolutionary to you, kind of like shaking it up. And there might be a whole lot of resistance because whew, I understand. I have a whole lot of resistance to it. And so this is one of the bigger things that I'm continually having to work through and evolve. And so one of the things I want to do is, like I said, I'm getting coached on this and I want to bring in some other players who don't struggle in the same way as much as I do. I want to bring you some other speakers to share with you on this topic, to offer some other perspectives, okay? Um, And it's just really insightful to hear this said in different ways from other people so that you can start exploring this because I am really confident. I am not the only one who is struggling with this in relationships. And here's the interesting thing. This doesn't just apply in significant relationships, okay? This could be a parental relationship, whether you are the parent or you are the child. Yes, this still happens as adults with our adult parents, okay? That's a biggie for people. And so there are different situations. This might happen between you and your manager, you and coworkers, your expectations, you and your friends. And we're going to look at what does it mean when you create your instruction guide, your manual for how others should be in relationship with you. That's the biggie I want to help break down for you because I'm continually breaking that down for myself. I want to see how that is playing out and I'll come back and I'll share and let you know some progress updates, some different ways and some tactics that I'm exploring and implementing and let this be a growth development phase. Let this see how this can work with you and bring you to new depths in your relationship when we can let go of our playbook over other people's lives.